but maybe wasn't. But even if it was, I got in behind the trellis and managed to miss those bricks and found a hole here somehow. Or maybe I saw the bricks and avoided the bricks and dug the hole. I don't know. Well, okay. it's 10 years ago. But you know what? Yeah. Uh, you know what comes to my mind right away? The phone call to your wife who says she thought you were going too far to the right. And she said it was you did it behind. Now, I, my theory is... Women are always right. They are. I mean, they, yeah. have, they have fantastic memories. So uh, thanks to your wife. And uh, a bit of hard work, as you can see here, <laughs> a lot of digging, it was found, and your 10-year anniversary will be celebrated with your time capsule. And yes. I'd be excited to see what's in it. Uh, if you can send me some pictures, that'd be great. We'll, we'll give you some documentation. Um, really happy for you. I wasn't going to quit, and my whole theory is, much like my treasure hunting, it's a process of elimination. you got to just continue gritting until you find it. 10 years is a long time to try to remember exactly where you put it. And I'm going to try my metal detector over it and see if it does give me a signal. Excuse me. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm not, I haven't been taking the right thing here. I was on film, which is fine. Yeah, I do get a signal. And you know what? Looking at the signal, it was the signal I got. You know what? It's, I have to ask a ton of questions when I'm looking for something. And uh, that's how I find what I'm looking for. If you don't ask, you just give up. And... My whole thing was uh, the grid search. And you did bury that down a good foot and a half. And then plus the three feet of the, uh, or whatever the size of the well, bucket. Yeah, I, I can't even remember. I, it may even be smaller than I'm remembering because we had different sizes back then. I think. I don't want to, I don't want to break puncture, this. I don't want to no. puncture the plastic. So, the plastic, I don't think you have to worry about the, no, no, this green, but I, the plastic plastic. The yeah. actual bucket. All right, hang on for a second. We don't want to, after all this work, damage the goods. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, just hang on, get an extra side of this too. Sure. It is a smaller bucket. That, that. There's the hole. And there's the, the bucket with, I just found out, $150,000. <laughs> yeah, I wish. You know, but, perhaps not as scientific as you were hoping. <laughs> but well, scientific in the sense that we gritted it out. Yes, I'm so and happy I, And for I it. like, just before we see the Sherlock Holmes movie uh, that just is coming out in yeah. a couple days, Yeah. Um, you, were, you were taking care of that principle of, uh, you know, if you've eliminated the impossible then you're left with the problem anyway there's that famous quote where yeah. you, just, you, you know like like i like your line that if uh, if it's not there then it's somewhere else stop digging there go go to the other place yeah right? thank you yeah that's my theory is if it's not where you're looking it's it's not going to be found there so yeah. we have to expand the grid it wasn't far from where you're searching but uh, again thank you thankful to your wife and uh oh yeah she she, she gave us she gave us, she gave us uh, encouragement that inspired us to go for it the signal that we got was good and uh yeah i'm just i'm excited hey, for Dan, you can you tell me the story about the, the bucket and what it meant to you to have it found absolutely uh thanks again for the help by the way oh, amazing welcome. job um so uh, 10 years ago as a fun thing for the change of the millennium so december 31st 1999 all family members were here both sides my wife's family and our family so the house was packed all generations uh, grandparents all the way down and uh, we thought it'd be kind of fun kind of symbolic to put together a, a time capsule and then assemble again 10 years later and open it up and to add to the drama and the ro romance of it, I thought I would, would actually bury it it doesn't make sense just to put it in the garage you got to do it you got to yeah. do it the real thing unfortunately um, as the time approached for the party, which everyone's coming to, uh, everyone, even from Montreal, crazy. Fantastic. 89-year-old uh, dad, going to get on that ferry and come. Oh, wicked. It's incredible. But then the pressure mounted because uh, we t I took a few test uh, digs uh, a few weeks back. My daughter's been out here, you know, picking away at it. And then the questions started coming. Have you found the time capsule? And, of course, I had to say no. <laughs> and... Then uh, they were being good-natured about it, sort of, but they wanted that time capsule. That's what the whole deal is about yeah. <laughs> for them, partly. And, and uh, how long did it take? It, it, what time is it now? It must be... Well, we, you, you came at... at a, 11 o'clock. Uh, around 11. Yeah. It took three hours. And the, the reason I couldn't find it right off uh, or, or had such a hard time is that all the landmarks changed, which is a lesson of, of life. In 10 years, the fence went back two, three feet. Yeah. And the gazebo... And shrubbery and vines that used to be here disappeared. All was removed because right. it was falling down. And then that just 
ruined things enough in terms to, of to, throw, to throw you to, off. To throw me. So I, yeah. I, I dug a, a lot of that. Uh, then we filled it in again, and Chris emptied it again. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Unfortunate. Uh, and then uh, we did this side because maybe I, I lost my mind. It was actually on this side of the gazebo. The gazebo was right here in this dirt pile. And then after the phone call to your wife, because I never searched here because this is where the gazebo was. In our mind, you wouldn't have buried it under the gazebo. So we never. You do it underneath. No. The so we never. But never I, paid heed I to this area. I had a memory of tucking it in behind, and yeah. she did too, and that's what got us back on the right track. Yeah, because as soon as, um, soon she, t let, as, soon as she told us this area, we found it in probably 10, 15 minutes. We, we slipped right behind and, and yeah. found it. And the mail detectors did help uh, confirm that there was something here, and we, we actually got a reading from another item, Yeah, but and also then, probably getting a reading from the bucket. Oh, we did, definitely. So I definitely got the reading from the bucket. So it was just, uh, after, after we got rid of the tin can from there, it was the crevice I saw, the little hole that kind of inspired me to, to like w look at that hole. Because it was like the hole was in caving the in. magic cavern, you know, yes. where the Aladdin's lamp is. Yeah. yeah. The hole was yeah. the... Little... Well, congratulations, so, uh, and, and I know how much help. it must have meant to get it because oh, that was a I, lot of pressure piling on you. Oh, they, well, the time's ticking. It's less than three weeks, and it started to snow today, of course. Yes, um, and you can see here. The only thing that would have made this worse is a foot of snow. Uh, I think it would have well. made it better. It would have made it more pretty for the picture. But uh, congratulations. Uh, I'm really, pretty, uh, really happy to help you. That was fun. Thanks, Chris. That was a fun. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Oh, you're and, welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, I, when I saw your blog, I thought, well, maybe this would be one of those stories. I, I was hoping it would be. <laughs> it is a fantastic story. Alrighty, I am heading out now. What a fun search that was. I had an absolute blast. When you know there's something buried and you can find it after 10 years and it's a time capsule it's exciting I, I was just as excited as he was when we when we found it now um i won't make this long because it's been a long video but i i hope to get more of these i'm sure there are more out there and uh they are fun they're hard work that's definitely hard work i i will write a blog about it where you can read about the story thank you again for watching uh, happy holidays i gotta watch the road it's slippery out here oh boy yeah it is slippery